she just wants to be beautiful she goes unnoticed she knows no limits there's a Welcome back to my channel guys. So as you can see I'm all dressed and ready. So today as I said in my previous video We will be celebrating our Independence Day Belize in Grenada. So just stay tuned for more videos dad is trying to cut some banana leaf for us to use on the tamales another spanish food and you will be seeing how we make that today so we're preparing for our tamales while on this other side that is here making some yeah the tortilla is one of the spanish dishes as well that we use in belize and all what you need to this is some flour and you get some baking powder along with some salt and you put it all in together along with some shortening but for order to get the the thing soup soft you gotta put a lot of shortening and you just mix it up together with some water and along with the water you can put some coconut oil in it as what you coconut see here milk. some coconut milk <laughs> and then when i finish do this i just put the coconut water into the flour and then I continue with the massaging. So now we're about to put in some tomatoes. This looks tasty already. Ooh. Okay, after putting all those ingredients that I mentioned earlier, this is the last thing you do now. You're going to take the coconut oil, the coconut milk. You're going to pour it in. But I'm going to knead it now so that it can get together. Yes. All right, this is stage two. As you remember, I put all those ingredients together and I just have like a ball. And next thing what we need to do now is to take off piece by piece like this. And then you roll it up. And when it rolls up, it comes like a, like a ball, you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, making it pull now, the corn massa, corn flour. That's the same massa that we use for the tamales. So she's using that to make a paste now for the tamales. So this is the paste so far. We're back on the tamales. This is the paste. Mm -hmm. Corn flour, the paste is the better paste, you see? Look at the paste they put it in. This is to make the cold, but, you know, thick and nice. And you stir until it gets thick. You get a lot of the skin, you know? If you need more, you can add more. If you don't get the, the texture that you want it. Oops, the pot is too small. You know? Alright, take it in thick there. Just go to scoop up, get a scoop and put in the chicken. In the middle of the tomatoes. And then we go to the 
um, all the part of the tamales. This is the is for the tamales, for the outer part of the tamales. I add a little ricotta powder. I add some salt. I just want to make it a season, like a um, Goya season. And I'll make it like a paste to rub on the, on the leaf and the outer part. And then you put the color on top of it. And back to the original one of the day. And as you can see, this is the way you roll it off. You remember the last time I showed you the bulky one? Now you gotta put it off in some small rolls like this. And then you just put it on the dresser. And then it got a set, right? Yes, it got a set. And after when it's set, now then you go and put it on the fire and cook it. But I'll be back to show you how to do that part, okay? <laughs> it will boil up more. But I don't want fast as stove. I don't want to use the dirt here. I can't put it in the dirt here. I can't use the stove here. Having fun, Daddy? Yeah! How does it feel to be making some Belizean food? Excellent, excellent. How do you feel, Mom? Oh, I feel great. I, I feel like I'm home. Smelling tamales, smelling the aroma. So this is Brennick. She's also a Bolivian. She's living in Grenada. And <laughs> so let me have a lip bubble with you. No? Well, you have to talk a little louder. Yes. Um, I am Brennick. I'm officially from Belize, Mida from Belize City. Belize is a quite beautiful, loving country. The people are loving. Um, what can I say? The different cultures, ethnic groups are very great. The food is delicious. <laughs> I am a fully Garcia, a Garcia group, actually, what we would say in Belize. So basically, Belize is quite bigger than Grenada. It is beautiful, very beautiful. You go to the zoos, you go zip lining. You know, Belize are the, you gotta go to the jungle. To the jungle. I've been to the jungle. It's very beautiful. Like it's wonderful. It's a great experience. So yes guys, mm -hmm. that's about it for me. This is the the corner. Don't you open it for a Right. This too is made with corn. I'm not sure where is my hmm? corn or else. But this is made with corn as well. So we have the decono, my little panades, and my tamales. This one is so mm. <laughs> look inside, look at the inside of it. I'm gonna do this one, but it's juicy and nice, guys. You should try it out. Try it.
Okay, what I like about Belize is all the cultures that come together. And what I miss about Belize right now is the food. Family, miss the culture, I miss the food, I miss my people. I just miss everything. <laughs> I miss traveling, going from Ch Belize to Chetamal. Oh God. I just miss you. <laughs> Belize, I love you. Well, I love my country, Belize that's the we. Right. I love, love the beautiful colors. Look at it. It's very beautiful. I love the food, especially. <laughs> yes, so I love you, Belize. Um, I just love Belize. It's my country and I miss it a lot. But I'm here just celebrating with my friends. Happy Independence Day, Belize! Belize are the way! Thank you guys for watching my channel. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye!